Hey, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, something. Uh, this video is all about the uh, inventory management. Uh, just say, suppose, just for this example, uh, we will be considering a small trading business. A small trading business which has some items uh, in its inventory that he sells usually. Uh, uh, I can say that uh, you can use it as a software. I know it's not a software, but we can use it because it totally works like a software. Now, what is this? Uh, this is something I made which is totally invoice based now you're running a small trading business you definitely have the customers and you definitely issue an invoice to the to your customer now every single time when you sell an inventory you must assure that uh, you have that inventory in your stock so what we have we have an inventory window over here I prepared an inventory window f uh, in which you can see every single time that how much inventory is left in the stock and uh, I have prepared a sale register a purchase register now the best part is that, that I I do not have to update every single sheet I have totally linked all of the extensions all of the register uh, you know, sale and purchase and the inventory to this invoice let me show you uh, let's say suppose it's a very simple thing uh, that's a, uh, it's, it's a normal you know a sample invoice so I just made it simple just for the video so let's say suppose I am uh, making a sales in the month of November and uh, what I'm selling, I have four products as you can see in this inventory video. Uh, I have named each item 101, 102, 103, and uh, so on. So I have four items now. In this invoice, I'm selling the item 101, 2, and 101, 3. Let's say, suppose I sold, I'm selling 100 units for 101. This is the rate for 101 and uh, 80 units for 102 120 units for 103 now this is the invoice i'm going to issue to my customer now let's save this invoice now once i click this button it will automatically go to the sale register now what is this button is all about this is the macro and uh, in this video i'm not going to, to talk about the macro and i'm not uh, giving the lessons on this macro i will uh, definitely make a separate video on the macros but just see what happens if I click this button see it's automatically transferring the invoice data that what item is sold and how much units uh, at what rate and at what date now these are the uh, you know these are the data that I will be required for this sale register now this is a sale register uh, which is maintaining on the back side now once I uh, book the sales it will go to the sale register and the inventory will get updated automatically as you can see the closing units of the 101 102 and 103 is reduced and I have linked this sale register number with this inventory see and each and every time let's say suppose uh, I'm looking at the window of the uh, my product one or two in which the inventory the uh, stock I have uh, only 850 units and I know that that I will look at more than 850 units so definitely I will uh, I will I, I, I have to uh, make an order for this product uh, what item is this uh, yeah it's one or two let's go to the purchase register uh, it's, it's suppose I'm it's the December and I'm booking an order for one or three and I'm ordering 500 units 
at what rate you know whatever the rate is going on now 500 units i've just record the order in this purchase register and my inventory for one of three as you can see it goes up because here this purchase cell is linked with the purchase register now uh, there are very few basic things that i applied in this sheet it's the summary function i will uh, make a video on this summary function and what is it and, and what is the formula and how we can use it and that's the simple thing that i applied here now every single time when i'm going to book an invoice i can see my inventory window here about the closing stock i have right now now the most important thing and the best part about this you know sale register and the purchase register is that uh, at the end of each month or the you know your closing period whatever it is you need to if you have the policy to maintain a uh, closing stock you definitely have to value the in value your inventory now what i can do as you can see here i have applied a simple basic pivot table to the sale register and the purchase register and uh, just filter the each item separately to get the to get the purchases for the period and the sales for the period now i can use this data to value my stock now i'm not going to teach that how to value the how to you know value your inventory i'm not talking about the inventory valuation uh, this is not the part uh, and what I'm assuming here that you are totally aware of the inventory valuation as you can see what I did here I'm, I just uh, used the FIFO method for the inventory valuation I, and I valued my inventory here so there is something we can use for the management of our inventory this is the daily basis thing that we can use you know every single time when we issue an invoice just book the invoice and uh, we can your inventory is updated, your sale register is updated, your purchase register, and every uh, single time you know at the end of your closing, you can value your inventory, and you can use this valuation, this valued closing inventory valued figure in your balance sheet and uh, in your income statement. So uh, let's wait for the part two, in which I'm going to show you that how I made it. Thanks for watching.